Let's play Todo Game Lab! Hello, this is Jordan, and welcome back to another Scrap Club video. Where today, in this video, we're going to be playing Kodu Game Lab. And as you've just seen, I have recently found out a new thing that you can do in Kodu Game Lab. So if you press the object tool, add or edit characters and objects, if you then right click, you see this menu comes up. And you can apparently make different things. So we can have a rover, we can actually have a Kodu, we can add underwater, we can add pipe, corner pipe, cross pipe. I think this travels water. So basically, we can make a proper city. So I was thinking, this will be like the off skirts of the city. We'll do that in a different video when I find out more about it. But in this video, once again, we are just going to be trying to build up the terrain a bit. So as I said in the last video, we will be doing continuing as we are now, just building up, we're trying to build up the volcano so it's a very good building sort of so yeah we're gonna build up the volcano so I thought if we use that tool that looks a bit messy but I don't seem to be able to hold down on this tool hmm. I'm gonna see what happens if I reopen the world and then I'll try it okay I'll be back we have returned to Kodu Game Lab, and this is basically how my world is just loaded in. Well, that's quite a good view of the mountain, but um, I really don't know if this is going to work. Please work. Yes, we're back up and running. So, I want to... That is disgusting. So, if you hold right click, I always get messed up with my left and right, sorry then you can delete it so that looks more like what we want now so we can go back to our normal now so just spread round here and we want to start sloping in a, in a bit but not quite yet because I've got a really bad camera angle at the moment so I do want to move our camera a bit more so I just want to spin the camera go forwards a bit now stay at this level and I'm building up I'm building up and this is our Kodu game lab but that, that is a very good thing well that is what I call a volcano it's not really rounded at the bottom so I'm gonna have to build up another bit around here just building it up now so this is a the volcano. It's hard to see where I am and I can't build anything down there. Hmm. That's very strange. Right. I can build in here. So, I want to move the camera a bit now because we're going to start going in. So let me just spin around properly. Hmm. This volcano isn't that good of a volcano. But if we start to go in now, so we'll go up. So we need to build up our whole second layer. So we need to fill the volcano in. Yeah, the volcano is basically filled in. I can't really see it properly, but because of the colours. So if we just have a spin round, yeah, that seems okay. So now we're going to go from this view and we're building up more. So we need to build up around the outside or the inside. Is the outside. So if we build up there, and build up some more so if we scroll out a bit I think this is looking quite good build on the outside a bit 
and then we'll build on the inside. I don't even know if this is round or not. Hopefully it is. Right, let's move in a bit. Let's go back to our move camera tool. Oh, I'm meant to be holding this one. Right. That is bad. We need to add some terrain down there. I've just painted that whole thing grass. You stupid. Please repaint. Yes, there we go. Right, so now we need to sort out our terrain. So this is where it needed to be more rounded. So I'm just building it up more. And there we have that circle bit. So now we just build up on the inside. So I'll build the main structure thing on the inside. So this is the tall thing. So this is the centerpiece of it. Um, this is really bad. Really, really bad. Oh no, this looks building up quite nicely now. If you just build up the walls around the climb. Let's go around the outside just like that. Spray all the way. Yeah, this is quite good. Build up them walls more. Build them up. Build them up. I go like this. Right, let's spin round. That is a pretty good volcano. That side is basically done. So, if only there was a replica button. But no, we do have to replicate this exact same thing on this side. So I built up a strong middle point, which is this bit here. So we'll keep continuing to build this up until it reaches the same height as this one here so now we'll build up around the outside again so we just build up here build up build up and if we can get a different view then we can circle build up which is what was successful last time so you build up the main walls surrounding the actual thing so if I just Build this up, building up, building up, building up. A bit more. Still building up. Still building up. Still, still, still building, still building. Still building. There we go. That looks like a good outside, strong outside wall. Let's look at that strong outside shell of a volcano. I like that shell. I don't know what you can see because for, to me it looks quite 2D but it's not because if you actually move around it this is going to be called the Great Volcano oh that is great that is a great volcano get that smooth outside so if we can get this outsideness on now this bit so I think I can do this so all we have to do is just build this up so the walls have to once again be more round so if we hold it and pull it down more, pull it, push it up there. So this is kind of really good. So yeah, so we just build it up more, build, build, build. It's not that smooth round the bottom. This is what we need round the bottom. We need loads of small bits where, it, like, the volcano originally started to build up. So that's them bits there that I've just built, and then we have the main actual volcano here quite a steep one but it will look this will look very good I just want to check how much time we have left okay we have plenty of time left in this video to finish this Kodu game lab volcano this is very good it's very high I don't there isn't actually lava so I don't know what I'm gonna fill this with or is there lava I don't know, this has been very strange lately. I didn't know there was so much in Cody Game Lab. I thought it was just you build terrain. I didn't if I found out a bit about how you code it now. But if we just get back to our move camera, I wanna get a good angle. 
so like from the base and then I find the bits that actually need to be sorted a bit more this is a very bad way to do it here we go I think it might be up here somewhere yeah there where I am now if I zoom out that needs building up so what I have to do is I have to change my camera angle and select here. Get my build up tool, select the correct bit which seems to be this piece. Build it up and we need to build it up quite high but not too high so that it overruns the rest of the volcano. Now that is a volcano, that is what you call a volcano. I just want to build up the sides of the mountain a bit more just to make it a bit more extravagant. It's not a mountain, I keep calling it a mountain. I mean the volcano, just to make it a bit more extravagant. volcano -ness. there we go. It's got loads of rock mounds in it, stuff. But now, if I move my camera again, I could be able to look in the volcano. So that's a very good volcano. You wouldn't know that it was a volcano, but it's still quite a good volcano. All we now need to do is just basically build up this bit a bit more. It's been long here. And that's quite good. Yes, that is what I would call a good thing. Now, I want to know how to tint this water. Change water colour. You use the scroll wheel. Oh, that's just to do it from here, like now. So, raise water, lower water. I know how to do that. Yes, that's it. If you actually click down on it, that is lava. That is lava. That is not what I wanted. That can go. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh my god. What have I just done? Oh. It zoomed me so far away from it. I thought I just completely wrecked the land. <gasps> Stop it! I'm too. I need to get off the water tool. Right, we don't want that colour water, but at least now I know how to actually change the water colour now let's fill this volcano with water that looks like lava so water so raise water something tells me that there's a hole in the volcano somewhere how can there be a hole in it um we can't fill the volcano up but we need to find a different colour for this. It's got a hole in it. Okay. Right, we I think a different colour could be this one here. So if we press Why don't you let me fill it? Oh that's quite good. Yes, that is good. I wonder if we can raise the water a bit. That's good, that is a very good cheese world. So we have our volcano land and we have our cheese land. So now, what I thought would be a good thing to do is I would like to change the background just for now, but the original final background will be this one. But it's just so you can basically see better in the video. So the so I like that blue one here. This is just so I can see better and you can see better in the video so that is very bright that is so different than before so i was thinking hmm 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 we need an aqua world i mean we've got quite a lot of other worlds so i was thinking i know how to build an aqua world. so we create new terrain it, it, it has to be separate to everything else. So the new terrain will basically be...
I want it to be quite bluish in many ways. So if we could get blue because it is a swimming pool after all, that is the worst thing I've ever seen colour ever. This is I've only seen one that I really like. This one's good. Look how many there are though. That's a lot. But no, we want this one. So if we build it separate from everything else, just over here and we have our room. We can build a small aqua world for now and then we'll see how that goes. So Aqua World help will have different kinds of colours of swimming pool. So this will be the main swimming pool and it will have blue water, basically blue water for the main one. The colour of the ground is the colour of the water. It could be or it could all be blue. We don't know. But this is quite big compared to the volcano. So this is very big. So if we change our colour of our tinted water that we would like, we will have our standard clear water. Tint. Right, I forgot how you... So you select the water that you want, and then you press down on the scroll to tint it. Okay, I know what to do. Now let me tint it. There we go. So that is basically our main aquanus. So if now I add some more terrain, the water will spread, as you can see. So they have to all be separate, as I keep saying. So this is basically Aqua World 1. Now, it's quite annoying the way that water works, because you have to build a wall to basically stop it from going over to the next terrain. So I was thinking we can build a wall. So we go on here, no that's not what I want. I want this one and if we go on here, no, still not it. Is this it? No, still not it. But anyway, what I want we can't seem to get because I have seen it. But anyway, we want to build a wall, but not too high of a wall. So it goes basically round the outside of the pole, but doesn't get too high. So that is really bad. And I mean really bad. I did see that with this, you can options, 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 you can add a wall. So I will add a wall along here. So that basically means. I want to undo all of this, but because now no, we know what we're doing, so we select it, add wall, if we press shift, says we can drag it, here we go. So, what we'll do is we'll do this wall over here first. So, what we basically need to do is place it in the water and, oh, it's already set to be a wall. And now we drag it over to where we want our wall. So we want our wall and then we click. And that should be a wall. Um, I don't know. I really seriously don't know what we're meant to do. So we'll undo that. And undo that. But what's this? What's this? Wait a second. 
What is this? No, get off that. Get off that tool. Anyway, in the next video, we'll take a look at basically a very strange but quite cool this menu. So let's add a code just so you can have a look what the next video is basically going to be about. That is a tiny thing compared to all of this. Hello? So we'll code him in the next video. No. Kodo. Program. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot of code. Um... But we'll do that in the next video because this video has just about run out of time. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. It's all my fault. We've run out of time in this video. But if you did like this video, then don't forget to leave a like. And if you really, really liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you really liked it, then don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.